I've been doing breast MRI for approximately 15 years. Our uh, procedure volume has increased every year since 1993. Starting in 2001, it's increased almost exponentially, and that's for two reasons. One, the uh, commercial availability of MRI-guided biopsies, and two, the uh, uh, perfection of CAT systems, which has increased our specificity, that is our ability to differentiate benign from malignant enhancing lesions, thereby uh, eliminating unnecessary biopsies and unnecessary follow-ups. Just to give you an example, in 2001, we performed about 500 cases. In 2008, we'll be performing about 5,000 cases. Prior to the widespread availability of, of CAD, uh, we were basing our, our BIRADS recommendation to the patient and surgeon just based uh, primarily on the morphology of the suspicious area of enhancement on the MRI. Unfortunately, that, 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 that just gave us the mammogra mammographic approach of morphology. It did not allow us to use the functional aspect of breast MRI in the form of enhancement kinetics. It was very time consuming and inefficient. And second, it was just not accurate. It was too, provided too much overlap between benign and, and malignant enhancement kinetics. With the advent of CAD, we now had a model-based kinetic algorithm that relates changes in contrast enhancement to physiologic parameters that can be used to differentiate benign from malignant disease. Those physiologic parameters are microvascular permeability and extracellular volume fraction. When we apply those parameters, then we, we, we come to the conclusion that cancers have high microvascular permeability, but yet exhibit a low, micro, a low extracellular volume fraction. That translates into the rapid uptake of contrast and washout of contrast materials that cancers tend to exhibit, and a slow rise in persistent enhancement kinetics that benign lesions tend to exhibit. We take that information now using a very user-friendly color map, which um, allows the pixel-by-pixel -pixel analysis of the wash-in and wash-out uh, process of the lesion, providing us with a timely and efficient way to look at the enhancement kinetics, which we then apply to the morphology aspect and come up with a very accurate, acceptable BIRADS recommendation for the referring doctor and the patient, obviating unnecessary biopsies, unnecessary turmoil for the patient, and false uh, readings. For a radiologist that's not using CAD today, whether that radiologist is an experienced breast MRI reader or a beginner, I would strongly, strongly recommend CAD for several reasons. Number one, using CAD will increase the efficiency and throughput of the readings and breast MRI uh, interpretations in your practice. Secondly, it'll provide invaluable information about the enhancement kinetics of a suspicious area, increasing the specificity of the reading, providing a more accurate BIRADS reading for the referring doctor and the patient, allowing you to uh, grow your practice and um, really have a leg up over your competitors. A third reason um, to involve CAD is because insurances companies uh, are now requiring that in your report you must talk about the enhancement kinetics on the breast MRI. Your choices of doing that are either using manual ROIs, the old-fashioned way, which is inefficient, time-consuming, and inaccurate, or applying CAD, which is much faster and easier to use, and clearly provides a much more accurate representation, pixel-by-pixel pixel analysis, of the suspicious area.